They, they have a comedian coming in, uh -huh. and he's going to entertain everybody. Perfect. Do we know and who the comedian is at this point yet? They do. I don't know. And you don't know who it is. No. Oh, okay. I'm That's okay. That. No. Uh, <laughs> That's a clip from about a week and a half ago when our buddy Ruben, who's in charge of the aquarium at the Henry Dorley Zoo, wasn't sure which comedian was performing this weekend. But we can't. He confirm. didn't know. We, he didn't he's, know. He said, "I got a, We got a comedian, but I don't know who it is." We said, "Let's look into this." Turns out, the guy's name is Justin Warsham. He's also performing in his natural habitat while he's in Omaha the guy's, Country Club. Right, the guy's Country name. Club. The guy's a comedy club. Did me wrong, Ruben. Did me wrong. Have you met Ruben yet? I went to high school with that you guy. We not. worked together for years. Well, stop. He's the one who got me the gig. Well, this That's is Justin. Not even true. I'm trying to talk on social media, Ruben. I have words for you. Somebody's swimming with None sharks. Of, he, he does, does every day he anyway. He, does, yeah. <laughs> he puts on the wetsuits. <laughs> Somebody's going to climb to the top of that weird red desert mountain and just <laughs> sit there and time out. Oh, That's like what's going to happen. What are you doing? You're going to be at the zoo? What's going on here? I'm doing a show at the Omaha Zoo. Uh, I'm very excited, actually. I was originally supposed to come here for the whole weekend and open for Bobcat Goldthwait. He's mm -hmm. at the Funny Bone. I'll be there Sunday. But they said, hey, we're doing the show at the Omaha Zoo. They took me on a tour. Yeah. They do yeah. backstage shoot. Have you guys it's been? Cool it's a blast. It's a cool place. It is like the experience of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. There was one very scary moment. Uh, I was watching them clean the rattlesnake pins and giving mm -hmm. them water and stuff like that. And nothing was said. We're just sitting in there while poisonous snakes are, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. <laughs> and then he goes, we go into another room. And Jesse, the curator there, very nice guy, he goes, okay, when we go in this room, if anything goes wrong, just walk out. I don't need you to be a hero, <laughs> which is a great place to hear. Like Jesse Krebs, the guy in charge yes, of reptiles? Yes, okay. yeah. Because yeah. he goes, I don't need you to be a hero, which is very emasculating. <laughs> go, I was never going to be. That was never on the docket, right. my friend. You, you had me at just walk away. <laughs> and, then, and he keeps going. He goes, because it's just, it's going to get worse, because then I have to save you and myself. And I'm sitting there wanting to have a good time and smile. But then I'm like, whatever is behind this door, we, don't, we can skip it. We can just tell everybody that I did it. Why not do that? So we go in and it's chain link fences and at the end of like a hallway there's like water with logs floating in it. He goes, ring this bell here. It had a gigantic cowbell. And I go, all right. And I went clink clang and he goes, no, no, like really get it. Really? And I go, all right. I'm like shaking. He's moving, not even looking at the water. I'm like, I don't know what's coming. I'm just sitting here. And a gigantic alligator head just comes out of the water. You don't even see it because it's so much more well equipped to kill than I am. And I'm like, oh. I go, oh, and I stop. He goes, no, there's more. Keep it. I'm like, okay, all right. He goes, we're going to go into the room. He goes, just stay behind me. That's all you got to do. I'm like, oh, okay. Try not to, you know, pee myself. And so we go in there and then we just start hucking food at alligators. Like it was. He goes, just try to, you know, put it near their head. And so I toss it. And that's the other thing. Like, it goes, bloop. And just like a half a second. And, <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh. And then he's so much cooler than I am. He goes, these alligators are used to people. We just don't want anything bad to happen. So that's why you got to stay here. He goes, but look. He's like waving his hand over it like that. See, it's not going to get you. And he looked at me. He broke eye contact with an alligator doing this. And I'm like, I go, just look at the alligator. I don't want to have to walk out of this room. Like, that was the other thing. He said, calmly walk out of the room if something goes wrong. If you were getting out. eaten by an alligator, there was nothing calm happening. Just like if we focus on my breathing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being very loud right that now. Was it was a, a very scary time. It was I a imagine. memorable experience. Unbelievably for you. memorable. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was uh, scary. Scary because so of that. What's your show going to be like at a zoo compared to a comedy club? <laughs> like, how do you I don't adjust know. for that? I'm going to be, I know this is going to be surprising, but I am not the zoo comedian. You see, I am. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm doing the tour of the zoos, I'm starting with the best. And working my way down. You, That's how I like to do things. I want to. I want to climax and then just ride the wave out. You That's, go entertain the orangutans for a while, yeah, then you oh, move on to the giraffes. I kill with orangutans. They love me. They oh love my gosh. Show, yeah, I do feisty. sign language. They love it. They love They're it. They're feisty creatures. And then Bobcat, you are opening for them on Sunday. Yeah, isn't yeah. it weird? Like I'm having like a, a but, zoological like weekend. The Bobcat like connection is not lost. Right. On us. Like yeah. there's there was a Bobcat that's going to be 20 feet from where I'm telling jokes, and then the, when the night I'm supposed to be at a comedy club, like a normal comedian, right. a guy Bobcat okay. is going to be closing the show. He's not, yeah. he's not the guy, if we think, you know, throwback memories that are like yeah, that, he's no. not that he guy that. He's not that yeah. guy. He's mm -hmm. a, and it's funny, like he, I actually, we talked to him on uh, CD 105.9. I was yeah. doing the morning show here with mm -hmm. Steve King and 
we talked to him and he called in and uh, he was saying, he goes, you know, if I would have known that for 28 years I'd be known for that voice, like uh -huh. it wasn't even right. in his right. in yeah. his head. It but was, that it would stick. stick. No, I've never met his. him. I'm excited to meet cool. him. I've heard he's great unbelievably guy. kind yeah. and just a fun he's guy. He's been here once and we enjoyed his company. He's a great guy. He was on yeah. Todd and Tyler this morning. They're good, yeah. good friends with Todd and Tyler. So let's show you some information about his stuff at the zoo. We didn't even. Is this information Ruben gave you? Because this is Ruben's information. We might want to fact check this. So tonight and tomorrow, you do need to make reservations and though a lot of stuff is for families at the zoo. This event is not one of them. you got to be an adult. And then funnybunomaha.com for all the rest. Thanks a million for being here. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, we'll be right back. That's it. We're over. That's, That's it. it.